Pocket Sand versus the Gracious Kroom Gobi. We got a Luigi versus Danendorf matchup coming. I'm excited to see who we're gonna see come out here. I may have to hop off commentary at some point. I've got Slap City to play. I'm gonna slap the shit out of some people in a game I've never played before. Let's go. Anyway, Pocket Sand right out the gate, getting about 6%, just kind of playing a fast little, fast, loose, slippery neutral. You know, you're slipping around on the ground. Gobi, ooh, Gobi, ooh. I thought Gobi was dead. I thought Gobi was dead. I am sitting here, not alone, but without anyone else to commentate with me. Huh? Oh. There we go. We get someone else on here. Anyway, it looks like Pocket Sand's got a, a decent percent lead, but Gobi is not going to give in that easily. Ganondorf can do a lot of damage. Oh, baby. Huh? Oh, excellent. Cool. All right. So we're going to see... Ooh, Gobi taking a lot of damage here. Pocket Sand's <coughs> definitely got the lead, but that does not mean that Gobi can't take a stock right here. Ganondorf killed super early. Ooh. Things are looking pretty grim for Gobi right now, but I believe in him and the power of love. See what the power of love does for you kids. It makes your opponent SD. In the, in the uh, Ganon-Luigi matchup, which I am familiar with, I'm, I'm in Luigi, my name is Guard, awesome. stream host, but in this matchup, it's kind of difficult for Luigi if Luigi plays greedy because Ganon can hit so hard, just, you know, a down air, a down air reporter can kill at, like, low percent. Yeah, no, he, he kills super early, <coughs> and, you know, he, Luigi gets those little pokes in as he slides around everywhere, but... But Ganondorf gets one good hit in it, and it, it kind of balances things out. And what's interesting about this matchup is it's actually kind of dangerous lo for Luigi to get the trade because uh, uh, Ganon is heavy, and so sometimes he'll be on the ground when you don't expect it after, like, an air or something, and mm -hmm. so he'll just jab you, and you're dead. Yeah. No, Ganon... Ganon's a big boy. Ooh. But it seems like... Uh, Ooh! Seems like Pocket Sand's not going to have any trouble taking game one. A pocket Sand showing No, we have a saying around here. It's we tech those. Exactly. We, we tech, tech those. those. You know what? I do my own tech business on the side. I have that name. We I have that those? name reserved for me. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Where are we going for game two? First game was on Battlefield. What are we going for game two? Final Destination's out. Okay. Pokemon Stadium's out. What will it be? Dreamland, let's go to Dreamland. My favorite stage, personally. I love playing on the stage. I love playing Zelda on this stage. Gopi off with a really strong start this time, kind of pushing him over towards the ledge a bit, kind of gaining a little bit of stage control. He's being a little bit more mm. aggressive and successful in doing so, too. One thing that's interesting about this counter pick for uh, is is it, do you know if this is a best of three or five? Um, I do not know. I do not know which round this is. I think I think this is best of three. But as a counter pick for this, this this also limits some of um, Ganon's kill options versus Ooh. Luigi because Downer will kill even though Ganon lives basically forever on the stage. Ooh, that headbutt's gonna get him though. That is going to catch him. Come on, Gobi. Use the foot. Ooh, Ooh nice. Okay. Gave him those feet. Good back air trade. Excellent trade. Also, I want to shout out to Beer Bop. Thanks Yo. for the capture card. Oh, what? Oh, that's right. This is the capture card we're using. Dude, oh, is this it? is coming clutch <laughs> so much. Yeah. <laughs> we've been we've been putting this to good use. So I thought you were just using it for Smash 4. No. Nice. I, I bought an upscaler. I really, I mean, for the price, a really good upscaler. At least nice. For the price. And so I'm using that upscaling it to uh, capture through the Abra Media, and this thing has been really reliable. Sweet. Bulletproof. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, your stream looks fantastic, too. Thank you. Yeah, I've been... Um, if you ever see the stream up, I'm behind the computer. Um, Guard, I... Um, my name is Guard, and I do the uh, stream, basically, tech work. So I've... So this is pretty much my setup, uh, and I tr take pride in it. We've uh, used this kind of equipment to host Nemesis 2, yep. and we use this to host Evergreen Rising as well. I hear that. I know I have pride in my equipment, even though part of my equipment is just a uh, Logitech webcam 
duct tape to a tripod. <laughs> that's yeah. how we roll. That's that's how we roll on a budget, folks. And All the also, money goes to the computer. Also, shout out to Dylan from Pete Gaming because he uh, er, uh, is letting us use these awesome head headsets. We're partnered with. Yeah, him. these are phenomenal headsets, honestly. Um, I'm actually really happy about Pete Gaming. I like to see the things that they're doing. Uh, oh yeah. I like that they're partnered with Axon Safe and. I'm really happy to see that's not safe. Kind of carry around along this a lot of the same crowd that we had at Bracket and Bruise. Kind of feels like home. So yeah. I'm, I'm very happy to see what is what has come through the scene in at least for melee since since my uh, vacancy. And big shout outs to Bracket and Bruise, Rip Bracket and yeah. Bruise. But the last one was so good. I, I so went big. to so the many people. Dude, there were so many people. We broke the fire code two times over. <laughs> Or like three times over. There was like 150 people there. Right. It was insane. Oh, that upbeat. That didn't kill him. That was at like 100. He What's like interesting 100. is that it looked like Luigi jumped in the air a little bit. And Luigi's in-air upbeat is uh, basically half as powerful. Okay. And versus I was like, I, was like I, I would have assumed that that would have killed for sure at like over 100. Well, versus heavy characters, it's also difficult for that to kill. It works versus like Fox, but uh, somebody like Ganon. You'd have to be at pretty high Does it high severely percentage. reduce the knockback? What? Does it pretty severely reduce the knockback yeah, yeah, with the does. weight? Yeah, it does. Okay, I didn't know there was that much weight scale. It looks like Pocket Sand's going to take this match. I'm going to hop off because I think I have a Slap City match to okay. do. So Thanks I'll for probably hop on back commentary. on. I'll, I'll hop back on. Oh, though, awesome. Later awesome. We're always, free time. we're always looking for commentators. Yes. Count me in. <laughs>